Okay, so rock covers off. Um, there's the old rock cover. Uh, the old gaskets in there. I'm saying the old rock cover. It's um, obviously a new one. Not very old. Twelve months, I think, when the head got rebuilt. Um, no problems taking it off. Really easy job. Looking at the cams, the followers, everything looks fine. There's no discoloration on them. Um, if I was just going real close to these two here, there is absolutely no pickup at all. Really nice and smooth. No sign of wear at all. Timing chain um, looks okay. Um, obviously, you can't check it. Yeah, you can check it. I, th I believe you check it from the back with the tool. See if it's stretched too much, but. Um, as I say, it was done 12 months ago, so it's well within its life. I'm not going to do the timing chain. I just wanted to come and have a look and see what the, uh, the top guide was like. And top guide looks okay. No bits missing off it, no scoring, I can see. So, all looks good. So, I'm going to give this a clean up. And then I'm going to pop the new gaskets in the rocker cover. Pop the new... Um, gaskets for the spark plug tubes in as well I will clean up the gasket mating surface I will put a little bit of um, RTV as well in the two corners here that is actually in the mini recommended uh, service when you do a rocker cover gasket but as I say this was just more of I want to do it myself I want to know that it's right I don't want any more oil leaks on this vehicle um, so I'm getting them all done. So, all looks good. So I'll start the cleanup operation and get the gaskets popped into the um, into the rocker cover. Bit of RTV on them, and then we'll get them right back on, and I'll drop the subframe. Well, I'll start dropping the subframe. Okay. So, uh, mating surfaces have been cleaned. Um, all the old RTV has been taken out. All the old sealant. Um, everything feels nice and smooth, so um, time to start prepping the uh, the rocker panel, and um, we'll get that on. Always cover your engine up when it's open. You don't want anything falling down. Just cover it up until um, until you're ready to mate it up, and then we'll clean up and get this ready. See you in a minute. So the uh, the RTV or the gasket sealer. That I've put in the corners, had 20 minutes to set up, um, ready for the valve cover to put back on. Um, all new seals, um, including the spark plug tubes, two there, and the bolts. Um, put it on, make sure you get the right way up. There are location tabs on the way around as you uh, as you fit it. So there's a corner here, location tab there, location tab there. Make sure it's nice and clear. I haven't cleaned the inside of the of the um, rocker cover because I believe what's point is going to get plastered in order again. So um, let's get on with it and get it fitted. I've got nobody with me. I haven't got a tripod to show you what I'm doing, but um, all I'm going to do is just loose load it, loose fit the bolts, um, snug them down tight, and then the tightening spec I think is 12 newton meters. So um, I'll then go down and talk them in sequence, middle out, 12 newton meters. Okay, get back to you in a minute. All right, valve cover's back on, um, or rocker cover, whatever you want to call it. Um, hand tightened all the bolts, sequence, middle, working out. Torque setting is 12 newton meters. Um, I've used a knurled um, extension bar just to nip them up by hand, literally with my hand. I'm just going to wait um, 20 minutes now just to, um, to let the sealer that's in these two corners set. Um, and get hard before I go and final torque them. So I shall put the electrics back on now and um, I'll get back to you when I've torqued them. Right, um, all torqued down, 12 newton meters. I'm going to go and have a cup of coffee, myself a cup of coffee, come back and I'll just check the torque again and then I'll put the earth strap on, otherwise I'll get a no start when I start it back on. 
Um, check all the electrics have been put in properly and then underneath the car. Right, um, valve covers or rocker cover, whichever you want to call it, is all done. The double torqued just to make sure. Um, so I shouldn't have any oil leaks from the valve cover, the vacuum pump, the oil pressure switch, or the filter, the oil filter housing. Um, I did have a forged turbo blanket to put on, but I just don't see how it fits on the on on the the, um, the documentation with it. It is for a Mini R56. I just don't see how it fits, so I'm gonna have to give forgering and, and see how it fits. Um, so I was going to go out and under the car and get the um, and get the subframe started, but unfortunately, because of the weather, i.e., weather forecast for tomorrow is rain. I want to get my grass cut. So it's what time is it? Two twenty nine. Um, I'm going to get my grass cut because I normally finish about four o'clock. Um, I'm going to get my grass cut, I'm going to tidy my tills away, drink my coffee that I made myself, tidy all my tills away, um, put them back in the garage, and we'll probably pick up some of the matting so it doesn't get too wet when it rains tomorrow. If it doesn't rain tomorrow, then I'll be back on it and I'll be starting the subframe. I do have to go down to a fixing centre to get some. Um, I think it's M8 or M10, um, I've got it written down somewhere, bolts so I can support this off the crush tube. Um, through there, onto the crush tube, then let me take the, um, the subframe out. When the subframe's out, um, I'm hoping then that the weather will be good. I can put this electrical bits back for the auxiliary and change some of the hoses and give this side of the engine a clean particularly underneath because it's still rather dirty um, and I might even try and get some of this you can see where the brake the brake cleans been splattering so I might just give that a wipe over with something I don't know what yet but that's uh, that's me for today apart from a clean up um, and Saturday because it's Friday today is another day um, nothing's gone wrong yet um, so I'm quite happy about that <laughs> So we'll we'll continue and see what happens in the future. I'm signing off for Friday back on Saturday.